500 bus stops may seem a tad too many But when you are without a car that number's necessary To spread the message all around that John Shuttleworth is char bound 500 bus stops with me and my friend Kenny Hmm, yes, adventures we had many We did, didn't we, Ken? Hmm, we did Mishaps, well, there weren't any Ooh, Ken, if only that were true Yes, 500 bus stops. That's right. Cast your minds back, viewers, to day one of my National Rock Tour. It was a day fraught with incident. My Austin ambassador, Wyrich, broke down at the garden mm. centre. Oh, I'd appreciate some help, Ken. And my opening show at Bakewell Library was cancelled after it was revealed I'd have to play quietly. I mean, do you really want everyone going shush when you start singing? No, I want them to be punching the air, Ken. So manager oh. Ken Worthington and I decided to take the bus to Norway. Oh, you're a good agent, Ken. Thank you. Unfortunately, it was the wrong bus and we ended up going south to Chesterfield, where we came across Iceland. They belong to chest freezes. The surface I'm most comfortable performing on. Mm. This seemed as good as Norway, hey. oh, and more no. convenient. Alas, we missed our stop, hey, but luckily in Matlock, we found another frozen food shop. It's a freezer shop. It's a freezer shop. That's what I said. Where yeah. I performed my first on, booking Ken. of the tour. Oh, and it went down quite well, didn't it, Ken? You stoned it, John. They loved you. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, you know, it was a good show. Mm. Save the whale! Oof, no. On, the tour didn't stop there, of course. No, it would have been a fitting oh, climax. A Thank you, Ken. Okay. Mm? No, oh. Let's now find out what happened on day two, shall we? What's the matter, John? Got an headache, Ken. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, you see, I slept very badly, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. And it's Ken's fault. Oh. Every time I dropped off, he'd wake me up with a little beaker of Malibu. Mm. Yes. And at one stage, mm -hmm. he had the window wide open. He was trying to lift the TV up onto the windowsill. Mm. Now, what was that all about, Ken? Well, I was trying to chuck it out of the window, John, so you'd get thrown out of the hotel. <sighs> well, that's not very nice, Ken. Mm. But I couldn't lift it. It was too heavy for me. Well, good. Yeah. But what was your motive? I was just trying to attract some media interest in your tour, John. Who knows? You could have ended up on Knock North. Yeah, but I wouldn't have been able to watch it, would I, Ken? Because I wouldn't have had a telly. No, oh, that's true. Yeah, as it was, when I arose at 7am, I saw a smashing programme on the history of canals. Mm -hmm. Come on. Did you? Yeah, I did. Let's go. Mm. All right. John? Hig, hig. Oh. Right. Oh, I'll just wait until these people have come past. Come uh, this side of the camera, please, love. Thank you. Oh, you're too early. Oh, don't matter. Nice, easy strides, John. That's it. Sure, up, okay. Ken later confessed that the reason he couldn't sleep that night was because he saw a hooded axeman at the end of his bed, which is something that's been happening since he was a little boy, isn't it, Ken? Mm. Yeah, must be awful for you. Well, it is. Hey, what's this shot, Ken? I don't remember this one. Well, I just wanted to show you something, John. Watch what happens now. What? Here we go. Hey. Ah! <laughs> oh, lovely. Didn't know you were filming that, Ken. Mm. She was helpful, wasn't she? <laughs> Stop! You like Mr Bean, John? No, I'm not, Ken. You are. Very amusing. Mm. But not the sort of behaviour people expect from a rock star. You should be more like this bloke, John, with shades on. Looks like he's in Shawaddy Waddy, doesn't he? Is this why he started the grooming programme, Ken? To prepare me for chart success? Mm, that's right. <coughs> and if I remember rightly, it was in this restaurant that the training began. Mm. Hey, where's that smoke coming from? I don't know, Ken. I can't help you there. Well, here we are in an American style diner in Matlock, yeah. enjoying the cappuccino, uh, which is the new one. It's causing such a stir up and down the land, mm. and justifiably so, in my view. Yes. Because it's uh, lovely and frothy. It is. Uh, little chocolate droppings, you know, melted now in my mood. Don't matter. Uh, well worth the extra coppers. Mm. Smash it. Hey, John, catch. What are you doing, catch, John? Oh. Back it in. Can you get us chucked oh. out? Oh, nearly got him, then. I'll just spot him. Brush you, idiot. Oh. Oh. Crazy mama. Hmm. Turn the white to shade of pale. Oh, hey. <coughs> Have some fun with that. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hello, John. John's back. Oh. Hmm. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. John! Catch! Oh, oh. 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 he dropped it. Oh dear. I've had enough of this, Ken. 
I am. I should have called a halt when you made me steal that muffin from the hotel breakfast bar. Mm. What are you going to suggest next? Oh, I'm sorry, John. Look, why don't you go? I'll settle up, yeah? And see you oh. outside. Oh, again? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Idiot. Mm. We want to telephone Mary. Hey, that bloke's leaving without paying his bill. Edward. Miss? I'm not. He is. I'm not, Lord. Call the papers. Again? What the you say that for? Because it's true. Call the newspaper. Get off again. No, I won't. What's going on? Oh. Nothing. Oh, he's a big lad, isn't he? John! There he is! Yeah. Come on, Ken, this is a private call. Just ignore me, John. I'm invisible. Don't look at the lens. Uh, sorry, Mary. Ken's playing the jackass. Oh, hello, Mary. Morning, Ken. Has John been behaving himself? No, he's been misbehaving in the restaurant. What's he been doing? Mm. Uh, nothing, though. Eh? Ken just been stupid. Yeah. So, uh, is it, though? did Darren find his slippers, oh. then? Yeah, they're in video cabinet. Right. Just right. didn't watch mm. them there, you know. Yeah. Is, is everything all right, love? Yes. Uh, washing line's not gone again, has it? Well, I've not really oh. tested it. Sure. I've had a wash on. Right. Yeah, come on. Oh, bet oh. some more money in. Oh, excuse me, Vicky. Oh. Ken, that was a stupid. Hey, it goes to be Mary. Oh, she's gone now. Has she? Oh, thanks very much, Ken. Oh. Clearly, Ken believed that by behaving in an antisocial manner or keeping company with those so doing, my standing as a rock performer would improve dramatically. I did not subscribe to this view and decided, whilst enjoying splendid country views, to concentrate on more serious matters, like the whereabouts of that evening's booking. But Ken wouldn't tell me. They made me guess, which I didn't mind. You know, because I enjoy quizzes and conundrums, as I'm sure you do, viewers. Some are bizarre for disadvantaged youngsters. No, try again. No, uh, nurses' garden party. No, no, think bigger, John. Oh, right. Uh, agricultural show. No, but there may be animals present. Uh, Can't you guess? No, give Incan. Where? A rock festival. Well, like uh, Donington, Monsters of Rock. Hmm, a bit like that, yes. Yeah, but uh, there'll be bare ladies present, Ken. Oh, they're in the access to the love drug, eh? Mm. No, no, I'm not doing it. Yeah, but John, it's an ideal opportunity to tap the lucrative youth market. Is it? Mm. And you'll find them more than willing to punch the air with you. No one will be wandering back to the rooms. Mm. All right, Ken. Yeah? All right, yes. Mm. Yeah, I'll give it to work. Right. Then, thank you. Our journey to Wait. the festival required yes, a bus change on, in Bakewell. Go where Ken resumed his offensive posture. That's a nice baby. It is, isn't it? It's horrible. Thanks a lot, mate. Cheers, oh, cheers. No! You. John, you twerp. What do you say thank you for? I've just been civil, Ken. Well, don't be. You should have said drop dead, daddy-o. Something like that. Think rock and roll, John. You know, you've been far too pleasant at the moment. It's not helping your credibility. One jot. Oh, get knotted, Ken. That's more like it. Whoa, she's nice. All right, darling. Hey, Albatross! Hey, John, hey? do you want to find a massage parlour? Go on to the ice cream. Oh. Yes, please. Yeah, could I have uh, a feast, please, do Don't say please. What do you want, Ken? A uh, rocket. And a uh, rocket, please. Uh, sorry, not please. Oh, you cut the please out, can't you, Ken? <laughs> not really, no. Pound, please. Pound, yeah. She can say please. please. Two fifties. Thank you. Don't say thank you. Yeah. Yep. Nice one. Cheers. Mm, that's better. Oh, there you go, kid. Thank you. Oh, cheers. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> uh, what are you doing with that wrapper? I'm putting it in the bin, Ken. Well, don't. Drop it on the floor. Come on. Uh, excuse me, love. Uh, Hello? I'm going to th throw this wrapper on the ground. Because mm. uh, I want to appear antisocial. That's right. Because we're doing a rockumentary. Yes. Oh, right, but I'll, put, I'll put it in the bin afterwards. Oh, all right, yes, yeah. sir. Uh, can you appear a bit angry with me? Oh, yes, yeah. Nice idea, John. Sorry, cheers. Mm. Uh, Go on then. Yeah. Oh, oh look at that. Yeah. yeah, thank you, love. Oh. Thanks a lot. All right, Ken, happy now? Oh, no. No, because she didn't look very angry. <coughs> didn't work that. It was rubbish. While awaiting our next connection, Ken had the brilliant idea that I should become a fair dodger. 
the furious driver would have me arrested and I would benefit from the resultant publicity. Are you sure this is going to work, Ken? Yes, of course it will. Trust me. Just, yeah, it's on to pass. Look how it goes. Yeah, right. All right. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, two to Manchester, please. That's 440, please. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> Didn't work, did it? Don't know what's happened there. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> Your plant backfired, Ken. And as a result, you've gone bright red. And uh, in fact, you're shaking all over. I'm not. Your afro's quivering. It That's isn't. It's a shame the ladies and gentlemen can't see it, because it's quite a sign. Oh, shut up. In fact, his complexion matched exactly the mauve cycling top he was sporting that day. If you were being fanciful, you might claim he resembled Professor Plum in Cluedo. You know, the little plastic man that you move. Though, of course, Ken has an afro which obviously Professor Plum doesn't have. What are you doing with that? I want the viewers to know what you're up to, Ken. Oh. Because uh, the sick have not been able to see you. And this puppy, though it doesn't really look like you, is a very clever way of demonstrating your actions, Ken, uh, when they're worthy of no. Is it? Like they are now, you no. know. Uh, of course, if I had a red felt tip pen, I'd uh, colour the puppet's face in. Oh, because, very funny. Uh, Ken still crimson, mm. you know. No, I'm not. It's all because you came last on new faces, isn't it, Ken? Maybe. Maybe it's Tell you what, why don't I sing you my new song? No. Which is all about you, Ken. Yes. Uh, it'll help cheer you up, I hope. And uh, we'll give the viewers an insight into your true character. Oh. Yeah? Yes. Right, you'll take the puppet, Ken. All right, John. Uh, be sensitive with it, you know. Just oh, yes. Use it where it's appropriate. <laughs> it's a fun track, Ken. Oh, it's lovely. Nice. Here we go. You're like a halo. You go above some people's heads You're like a pyro Sometimes you're blue and sometimes red <laughs> Clever Hello! Yeah. You're like a Volvo You keep your lights on in the day I don't Like a last rollo You rarely give yourself away <laughs> huh? I like this one Here we go Can you, can, can oh. Can you can can? You may be able to can can. Round you go. But can you can can? Lovely. Yeah. Can you can can? Can, can you can can? You may be able, able to can can. But can you can can? No, I can't. You're like a polo. Your hole is greater than your part. No. Lovely. But you're not like Eric Bristow. Mm -hmm. I, your terrible Oops. dad. Oh, yeah, I am you know. actually. Oh, lovely. I feel much calmer now, John. Good. Mm. Well, oh. I'm not sure you do, Ken. Hello! <laughs> you know, the way you're tacking that to Velcro. Well, it's not Velcro, is no. it? No. Uh, Taffeta. Velvet, is it? I don't know what it is. I've tossed the driver when we get to it. Can you can, can. That's enough. Come on, you're hogging the limelight. Well, have you come to Manchester, Ken? Well, it's the next stage in your grooming programme, John. You see, Manchester is Sin City, a mecca for leisure drug seekers and a hotbed of fashion and fun. Yet they failed in the bid to host the Olympic Games. It doesn't make sense. Well, it doesn't really, no. You're like Manchester, you've got strange ways. But you've got style too, and I miss you while I'm away. You're as pretty as that city in autumn too And you're like Manchester cos I love you You're like Manchester, you've got strange ways You are my queen and like a certain town will always reign you're as pretty as that city in autumn too And you're like Manchester cos I love you But if you're like Manchester, don't you cheat em me 
If I rush home to find you've been in Wally's range, I won't be pleased. My bell view of the world will become a fallow field. But I know I can't trust you, you're like Manchester. The next stage in the grooming programme required a visit to a clothes shop for a much needed change of image. Though, to be honest, I was quite happy with my appearance. Uh, smart but casual, you know. Uh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. so is, uh, is that a guppy? Or is it a terrapin, do you know? I don't think so, it's just the fish. Yeah, is it just based on fantasy? Yeah, I don't know, I think so. It's uh, psychedelia, isn't it? Yes. How much is it, please? Five pounds. Is it? Uh, no, oh, um, I'll get it, thank you. It's old, though. It's is really it? old, yes. Well, it's worth certainly not worth five, then, is it? Um, is there a time to try some clothes on? Certainly. But not in the confines of, of the cubicle? Oh, that's all right. That's all right, just because I get a bit claustrophobic. Oh, that's all right, there's an error yep. there. All right, thanks okay. very much. Thank you. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Right. Oh, right, do you can. John, what have you been doing? Come on. Right. Should we try on some trendy gear? <coughs> it's a lovely uh, wooden donkey behind you there, Ken. Look, it's Master John, stop wasting time. You're here on a mission to update your image and bring it slap bang into the 90s. Come on, get that on. Ken, keep your hair on. You're losing momentum. Come on. Right. Good afternoon, it's Best Times newspapers. Can I have the news desk, please? Thank you. That's nice, you look like Lindsay uh, DePaul. Hello, editorial. Oh, yes, hello, um, it's Ken Worthington here. Hello, um, what can we do for I think, you? I think I've got a story for you. Go on. There's an artist of mine, he's in the area tonight, he's doing a show. Yeah. And he's just behaving in um, an antisocial way. In what way? Well, he's uh, tried to leave a cafe yeah. without paying for his meal. <laughs> and um, what are you laughing for? I don't know, sorry, go on. And. Um, you know, he's it, been trying to ride on public transport without paying. Really? He's in a charity shop at the moment. Oh, right, and he's yeah. not putting um, stuff back on the anger. You know, well, I mean, oh, that's yeah, not okay. very um, <laughs> anti-social. Sure. You know what I mean? There could be an angle there. You obviously don't yes. think so, young man. <laughs> that's no attitude to take. I thought you'd be angry, you know. Yeah, I'm not sure what I can do to help you, really. And I don't really see it on the front page, you know. Do you not? No. Well, what about page Lovely. two? Or three? Hey. What, about 23? Mm. All right, I think we'll leave it there. All right, then. Thank you, Nack. What are you doing now? Eh? Just seeing if uh, a prism effect can be achieved, yeah, Ken. big jassy. <sighs> Don't do that, Ken. No! Oh! Coming to you now. Oh, wonderful. Not so sure, Ken. I'm getting some funny looks. Well, that's because you look like a star, and people are trying to work out who you are. So, act like a star. All right, my love. Mm. That's it. <coughs> oh, no. No, Jim. Right. Oh, I know. Come here. What? I just had a brilliant idea. Hmm. Eh? Ken's inspired wheeze required me to stop people in the street and get them to ask for my autograph in the hope that this would make me look like I was a big star. It was a nice idea, but uh, unfortunately it didn't work. See you now. Uh, here's your paper and pen. So just we can cut this bit out. Just say, uh, can I have your autograph as well? Yeah, nice to meet wonderful. you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh no, it's my pen. Isn't it? oh. There you are. The autograph. Oh, uh, excuse me. Would you mind asking for my autograph? Rock and roll. Oh, it's coming, Ken. Oh, nice. Yeah. I was acting more like a real star by this point, wasn't it, Ken? Hmm. Yes, yeah, you were. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, thank you very much. Still Good being too sir. pleasant to bus drivers, though. You could have pulled his wing mirror off then. Oh, don't be stupid, Ken. Well, you could. Comfortable now with my new image, and armed with a host of tips on rock and roll behaviour, I set off for the festival in high spirits. Oh, hey. oh. Cheers, Ken. Yes, While cheers. I relaxed, Ken remained busy on his mobile, seeking out new cheers, contacts mate. for me from amongst the rock and roll fraternity. Good afternoon, Oasis. Oh, yes, hello. Uh, it's Ken Worthington here. Uh, I just uh, wondered if the lads would like to come out and uh, shoot some pool 
with one of my artists, John Shuttleworth. Yes, because uh, he's new in town and needs to be exposed to the rougher elements of the rock scene. You know, when I see him write up um, buy my pizza and some pop or something, is that possible? Who are you trying to get hold of? Because you've got Oasis hair salon on the here. Oh, have I? Uh -huh. Yeah. Is that not the um, the pop band Oasis? No, this is um, Oasis ladies hairdressers and gents hairdressers salon here. Oh. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I wonder what you've done about. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Oh dear. Bye. Bye. I'm sorry about that, John. <laughs> no, don't apologise, Ken. It's a nice idea, much appreciated. Mm. That's it. Don't put your phone away. I'd so like to uh, what? give the AA a quick tinkle, if I may, Ken. See what's happened to my car. What's the matter, Ken? You did phone the AA, didn't you? Like you promised. I needed the money, John. Financing a major rupture, or even a minor one, is a very costly affair. What are you saying, Ken? We were on our way to Norway at the time. Drinks are notoriously pricey. It's about seven quid for a pint of lager, you know. What have you done with my car, Ken? I've scrapped it, John. You did what? I got a very good price for it, considering its condition. <laughs> How much? Fifty pounds. Fifty? But it was a while, do you remember? Look, it's all yours, John. Take it, please. There's only forty here. Well, I've deducted my commission, obviously. <sighs> I don't believe this. How could you, Ken? No, I'm so sorry, John. I'm sorry I did the wrong thing. Maybe I should have consulted you first. Well, yes, you should, actually. Oh, you don't understand, John. An impresario has to make decisions all the time that their artists aren't privy to. Liaising with the press, checking with venues at the sub nuts and a bottle of pop waiting in your dressing room. How can I consult you on every tiny detail? There's a camera to worry about, tapes to buy, batteries to change. It's a nightmare. And I've got other clients to think about, you know. Their careers are suffering because of your tour. Janet the Rose had a guitar nick from the drop-in centre. She's devastated. I should be with her now, but I can't be, because I'm too busy supervising you! And do I get any thanks for all my hard work? No! You don't appreciate me, Janet. Uh, no, you're on, Ken. I do appreciate you. No, I'm wasting my time. Ken, wait! What about my tour? Ah, oh, stuff the tour! Oh, Ken! No, come back! You're on your own now, John. Ken! You're off my rostrum. You can seek alternative representation. Can you open these doors, please? Thank you. Oh, oh. oh Ken! Oh. Out of the way! Ken! Oh. Come back! Oh, it's getting in, haven't oh. I? Oh. Wait! Oh, the camera away, it's on. It's weighing me oh. down. John! Catch, John! Oh. Ken! Oh. Ken? I sought solace in a local park and placed the camera on top of the drinking fountain to film myself feeding the ducks. I didn't have any bread, mind you, um, just a tracker bar, which the ducks didn't seem to want. You know, I couldn't believe it. I think that bloke must have had some very tasty buns. Under the circumstances, I decided to knock the tour on the head and abandon the new image Ken had created for me. It was no great loss. The cuffs on that anorak had been chafing me badly. I would say thank you, then. Thanks. You're welcome. Don't mention it. I'd lost everything. My car, my agent, my chance to become famous, even my tea. Because that tracker bar should have been for me, really, you know. But why had Ken lost his rag and left me stranded, unable to find the venue? Had my performance in his grooming programme been so dire that he'd secretly decided to give my spot in the festival to stablemate Janet Leroux, who needed cheering up by all accounts. She'd be without a guitar, but she can do a cappella, and she does a good impression of Joanna Lumley. I had to get to that festival sharpish and find out just exactly what was going on. And if I got my camera. Excuse me, I'm looking for an open air rock arena, as you know. Sorry. My agent's left me, you know. Help you, mate. G-Max. What's that, a drug? And he's got an afro? No, not a whole, but no? I have seen the oh. Still none the wiser, I came across a second-hand music shop and remembering the organ batteries were running low, decided to pop in for a set of replacements. But then, something in the window caught my eye. Uh, excuse me. Yes. Uh, could I have a look at that guitar amp you've got in the window, please? Guitar amp? Uh, it's a fawn colour. I know. Yeah. 
beige one, isn't it? Oh, we go. that's it. Lovely. Uh, would it be suitable for an uh, open air rocker in the rock festival, which I'm doing? Oh, I'm afraid not. It's not powerful enough. You don't think it's, it is? No, it's only a practice amp. Oh. Has it got tone? It's got treble. But it's scoops. Lovely. How much is it, love? 50 pounds. Oh, no, I've only got a tenner. Would you accept um, a white snake bomber jacket in part payment? I'm afraid yeah. we wouldn't, no. What about a black <coughs> bag? Uh, excuse me, love. Here's forty pounds. Give the gentleman his clarinet. Thanks very much. Uh, right. John! No, John. Well, I know how much it means to you, Cam. Is my camera all right? No, that's your money, John. Yes, but I heard you playing. It was beautiful. Oh, thank you. It was. Yeah, I was only busking. Yeah, well, at least you didn't go red in front of the assistant, Cam. Mm, that's true. Perhaps you're ready to make a comeback. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh-huh. What if I were to offer you... A support slot on my talker. Oh, well, maybe I'll come in at the end and do a solo. Hmm? Oh, God, I'd love that. Yes. Well, we better get our skates on. Right. Yes. Okay. The crowd will be getting restless. Oh. Well, what about uh, Janet Leroux and a missing guitar? No, oh, she's probably left it in the ladies. <laughs> right. Knowing Janet, you know. Is that one, Ken? All right, Janet, I know. Good old Ken. He hadn't done the dirty on me after all. I was back on his books and hungry for live work. But as we sped once more towards the Derbyshire hills, I was slightly perturbed to know that Ken kept craning his neck in an anxious manner and whispering into his mobile. Didn't he know where the open air festival was either? Eventually though, we arrived at our destination, a little field on the outskirts of Hathersitch. It's a cub camp, Ken. Yes, I know. A lot of cubs. Yeah, but they still need music in their lives, John. And there'll be scouts before you know it. And venture scouts eventually. Now you do the show. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh, come on then. Yes. <laughs> Crazy mama. Oh! Come on! Hey! Come <laughs> see her. Come on! Come by ya, my lord, come by ya. Come on, come by, my Lord, come by, oh Lord, come by. This old man, he played one, he played knick-knack on my drum with a knick-knack. Pandy whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Next verse, John, shall I? No, just the first verse. Right, back in time we go now. You remember this one? Here we go. I want to know what love is. Oh, God, I, just... I want, want you, you to show me. Everybody. I want to feel what you love don't know is. it, John. Huh. don't know it. Don't be cheeky. I know you can show me. Oh. Oh, Sir Jasper, don't you touch me. John. No, that's oh, blue. So d- oh. It's blue, that oh. one. Mm. No. Uh, John Brown's body lies a mulling in his grave. Come on. Jump down his body lies oh, him no. holding his grave. Don't matter, Ken. Jump down his lies him holding in his oh, grave. No. As Can't the get the old right. go marching on. Rock and roll. Lovely. <laughs> yes, indeed. They liked us, Ken. They loved us, John. <laughs>